How's it going? My name is Dar Toomey and you're very welcome to the Guide to Cork 3-2. It's the Guide to Cork! Get out of the shot. Any lab? Get out of the shot. You might remember me from such online videos as the Guide to Cork and the other one. In 2017, I made a video called the Guide to Cork Guide. where we learned about some of Cork's most iconic landmarks. However, we didn't cover enough. There, there's so much more to be seen. So that's what we're doing in today's video. The Guide to Cork 3-2. We start our journey off at the Port of Cork. According to science, it's one of the world's deepest natural harbours. A lesser known fact about the port is it's actually the origin spot of the Bermuda Triangle. It is. No, it is. You not believe me? The Triangle spent its formative years here, playing centre-back for the Byers hurling team and working in the centre on Bark Street. However, it ran into a little bit of trouble when it was caught selling yolks at the back of a Christie Moore gig and to evade the law, it emigrated. To this day, the legacy of the Bermuda Triangle lives on, as it takes the lives of countless sailors who are just trying to gain access to the city. And what does everyone do about it? Nothing. They're all too busy on their smartphones playing FIFA. It's the guy to Behind me is the tallest building in Ireland, Aldi. Back in our economic recession, a bunch of lads were out of work and they were bored, so they decided to build a big fuck off skyscraper. However, upon completion of the building, they found out that they had built upon the grave of Michael Collins himself. If you go up to the top floor on a clear night, you can see the ghost of Michael Collins throwing darts at a photograph of Eamon de Valera. While we're on the topic of tall haunted buildings, here's St. Finbar's Cathedral. Back in the 1950s, Walt Disney wanted to have Disneyland here. Is there someone behind it? Hello. Hello. Do you have anything to say to, about Cork? Yes, I like Cork. I am in Dublin nowadays, but I like so much would Cork. You say, would you not just move here and stay here forever? No, only okay. for this week, weekend. Brilliant. Okay. Enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Have Bye. a good day. In the 1950s, Walt Disney posted into a Facebook group asking did anyone know how to build castles because you see, he wanted to build Disneyland here, not in Paris, in Cork, right? Very noisy, very noisy. Shh. Right, so a few lads from Grange took him up in the offer, but unfortunately, those lads only knew how to build, you know, big fuck off gothic, gothic things. So they went and built it. I think they did a pretty good job, but unfortunately, it's not what Walt wanted. He wanted, you know, a more Disney style, not the big depressing gothic cathedral. He was absolutely furious. He was fuming. There was no Disneyland. He cancelled everything, and he decided to take the Punisher off Netflix, and as well as take all the Marvel movies off it as well. Awful fucking bastard. The builders were later shot. It's the go College Road, the home of hepatitis. If you ever wanted to get a sexually transmitted disease, this is the place to be. On your typical Thursday night, you'll find the students of Cork out celebrating affordable education, independence, or maybe just out to have the crack. Unless you go to CIT, then you live at home with your parents. Ah, oh, boys, it's Patrick Street. Patrick Street is named after the patron saint of Ireland, Mr. Street. In 2018, there was a new law introduced that if you were to look at the road, uh, the guards would run you over because they're trying to keep it clean because the Queen is coming here for her 3,000th birthday. Yeah, it's a fact. Everyone's looking at me and I'm very awkward. <laughs> I'm here with my good pal Steve, Steve. and we're... Yeah, and we're going to ask the people of Cork a few questions about Steve. just... Just say her name. What's your opinion on maybe having a hard border around Cork? Can my friend and I stay at your house? What's your favourite Daniel O'Donnell album? Uh, I'll, have a, I'll have a large Big Mac, uh, one Super Max. And a Big Fries. And big Fries. Sorry. Into the mic, please, sir. Uh, big, big Fries. Big Fries. Would you name your child Oliver Cromwell if you're given 50 euro? My child's name is Oliver Cromwell. Cromwell. Well, I think it would. You know, you're his godfather. It's just a sock. Do you have anything to say to Leo Varadkar? Because we're going to send this video to him when we're done. Who'd win in a fight, me or him? Me. I fucking told you, no, see? No fucking win I fight. Fight. <laughs> Do you think a woman should take a man's first name when they get married? If you could only say one word for the rest of your life, what would it be? How did you get all of these? I came up with them in my brain. Oh my Have you seen the lads too? That's the good one. What's your opinion on strange men asking you questions on the street when you're just trying to have a normal day? I think it's... Uh, the microphone, please. I think it... On tap on tap Do you have anything to say to Leo Varadkar? Because we're going to send this video directly to him when my we're done. mic doesn't fucking work, man. It does. It fucking doesn't look at it. It's wireless. I mean, it's very high tech stuff. So absolutely it no, it's fine. It's fine. Am I getting paid for this? I fuck this one. I'm done. Fuck off. All right. It's the guy. Do you remember the British occupation? Neither do I. But I'm still resentful over it. A couple of years ago, the Queen of England decided to come over and ask us politely if we wanted to rejoin the United Kingdom. We had to think about it, but ultimately decided not to. This is where she visited, and um, she really liked it. 
She lives here now. This is where the Queen of England lives. And I live here too. I'm the Queen of England. As well as being a tough spot to be visited by our former colonizers, it's also a very large shop. Remember the Young Offenders was, was shot in here. I'm actually in the Young Offenders. No, I am. I, I actually am. Remember the Christmas special? Remember, see that scene? Billy Murphy, that's me. There, look, no sir, there I am. Uh. If you hate birds, then don't come to the lock, because there's loads of them here. You see, back in the 90s, the birds of Cork got sick of living here because they couldn't differentiate between the sound of a very loud bird and a Cork person. Isn't that right? What's your name? We're going to interview some birds now. Uh. Any tips on finding a gaff? There's a housing crisis going on. Does that, does that net bother you at all? How's, how much is your rent? What you make of increasing rent prices? Are you a duck or a swan? How's it going? Right, like, birds, loads of them. I'm here at the Corn Market Street. Now, it looks like a normal place that you might... And that was the Guy to Cork part two. Will there be a part three? Are there even enough locations to cover? Am I only doing this to become relevant online? These are all questions. If this is the first video you've ever seen by me, I've been doing sketch comedy online for about two years, so here on YouTube, loads of videos, loads of sketches. Some are good, most aren't. Also, here's loads of social media that you can click on, because, you know, promo promotion, yeah. Might be doing live shows and all that kind of stuff. That's really fun, brilliant. Come to them if you want, or don't. What, subscribe, yeah. I'm gone anyway.